Let's go back to the data that we just got a few minutes ago. How do you read the data today? All good news? Uh, yeah, actually, the headline experts uh, for the first 20 days of the, you know, uh, show that surprising positive 5% uh, increase and the uh, 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 daily shipments uh, on average during the uh, uh, first 20 days uh, just uh, negative 2%. So that is a very positive. Uh, uh, actually, you know, we need to see how the data will play out uh, uh, during the full month. Uh, especially because uh, uh, during the last 10 days, data sometimes show that high volatility. But uh, the, you know, so far, the data shows that we can have some hope that uh, the Korean exports can turn positive uh, for the first time uh, since uh, last October. So does that meaningfully change the growth outlook for this year? Um, we need to wait to see uh, because, you know, uh, the exports in Korea uh, seems to, uh, you know, that turned around in the first quarter, and then second quarter it seems to getting more traction. But um, if you see the external environment of the, uh, so especially you know that the major trading partners like China and the U.S. Uh, actually the, the economic situation is very favorable, uh, especially uh, you know. Uh, uh, China is uh, already seems to uh, you know the, uh, uh, run out of uh, st uh, steam of its uh, economic recovery, and uh, well in the U.S. Uh, well the, because the higher interest rate will uh, try uh, seems to kick in so that it will lower the growth so that uh, it is very high uh, uncertainty how it will uh, you know the lead to. Uh, the positive uh, impact of the economic outlook. But so far, it seems, you know, that, uh, well, it's good. So far, so good, yeah. Well, what about a weakening growth outlook? If, if we get one or a worsening one, would that lead the Bank of Korea to cut rates, you think? Um, well, um, so possibly, probably, but not so much, I think, because, uh, you know, that, um, uh, the Bank of Korea sent clear message uh, after the last meeting that their priority is that uh, you know that reigning in inflation, and inflation uh, is expected to uh, well to around uh, three percent at the end of this year. It's uh, much higher than its uh, two percent target. So that the Bank of Korea will uh, you know that uh, focus on uh, inflation stabilization. Uh, so, and actually, uh, if, you know, that the weakening growth outlook will, uh, can lead to a uh, change in the Bank of Korea's policy, at least it can impact, have a negative impact on the inflation so that if, if, if it can relieve some uh, inflation pressures, then it can change the Bank of Korea's policy. But so far, it, it, I, I don't think that it, uh, it can change a lot. So uh, my view is that the Bank of Korea will hold its policy rate uh, until throughout this year.